Hello and welcome to Today Matters. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Pastor Kevin Pagano and I have the honor of serving as the middle school pastor here at Skyline. Today we're going to be continuing in Psalms 18 starting in verse 31. Let's go ahead and read it. For who is God except the Lord? Who but our God is a solid rock? God arms me with strength and makes my way perfect. He makes me as sure-footed as a deer, enabling me to stand on mountain heights. He trains my hands for battle. He strengthens my arm to draw a bronze bow. Now David's life was filled with ups and downs and uh, times where he was on the run from people. Uh, sometimes uh, some people think it's about 15 years of his life was spent on the run and fighting. And at the end of that, that time, he wrote this psalm and was celebrating how amazing God was to him. And what we see right here is he just talking about the confidence that God gives him in battle. And, you know, I'm thinking about this for today. I know we don't go into battle too often, um, and that, that's a good thing. But uh, spiritually speaking, uh, it reminds me of another section of Scripture in Ephesians chapter 6, where it talks about the spiritual armor of God. And one of the key pieces of the spiritual armor of God is the breastplate of righteousness. I, I love this, this analogy of, uh, of armor, talking about how God equips us. And it's specifically talking about the armor of God and the breastplate of righteousness. You see, a breastplate is like the essential centerpiece protecting all the vital organs in your armor. So you can run into battle and you don't have to worry so much about all the things that might come after you. A breastplate of righteousness. I think that ties in perfectly when, when David was talking about his confidence. He's almost boasting about how strong he is, but he's really boasting about how strong God makes him. So spiritually thinking, spiritually speaking, for our life, how could that apply to you today? You know, there might be things standing in your way of feeling confident in your spirituality, in, in your faith, or even in a situation where you want to stand for God. There might be something holding you back. Well, I'm not perfect enough, or I'm, I'm not good enough, or I still have sin in my life. I don't really think I can speak up for God in this situation. But the beautiful thing about God is he gives us his righteousness. And we get to put on his righteousness like a breastplate, like, like a centerpiece of our armor. So if you are a follower of God, if you're somebody who, who calls God your God, you have nothing to fear spiritually. It, even if you have sin in your life and things that you, you have shame over, you can give those to God and he is faithful and just to forgive you and give you his righteousness. It's a beautiful concept that is a deep theological concept it's called imputed righteousness. And what that basically means is that the righteousness that we receive from God is nothing that we can earn, nothing that we deserve. It's purely God's gift to us. And that righteousness that we receive is actually Christ's righteousness. So imagine that. Imagine walking into any spiritual battle, any spiritual situation. You're walking as if you're Christ. And when you say that, when you proclaim that, that is not being boastful. That is actually boasting on God and saying how beautiful and amazing God's mercy is to give you the honor of walking in his righteousness. So today, I pray that that strengthens your faith. It strengthens you in whatever situation you might find yourself in. We can have a spiritual victory because we know that God has given us his righteousness. Thank you for tuning in today and be blessed.